Hello everybody, we are back, and this time we're talking about the 2001 Rob Zombie album, The Sinister Urge. Uh, now, I was very lucky, because when I first listened to and, and purchased uh, Hellbilly Deluxe, uh, this album was already out. So pretty much, like, once I had blasted through Hellbilly Deluxe a bunch of times, I went back to Best Buy, and I was like, oh, there's another one, sweet. And just fucking got it, like, pretty much right away. Um, and thankfully I was not disappointed, um, because I enjoy this whole album pretty much all the way through and I still do, um, you know, even all these years later and, uh, pretty much all of these songs, um, are in my permanent like rotation, like they'll appear in my shuffles, um, you know, at any given time. And, uh, this was another one where it was kind of hard to pick a top three, uh, because there are some seriously seriously good contenders for uh my top three slots so picking picking in the number three slot is usually the hard part when i have uh an album where there's a lot of good songs <clears throat> picking the number one is usually pretty easy because there's usually one song i gravitate towards a lot more uh on any given album but anyway um yeah this this is just an awesome one so uh as far as my top three goes my number three is going to go to Demon Speeding. Uh, it's the first song. It's not the first track, but it's the first song on the album. And uh, good start. <laughs> it's just, I remember hearing it for the first time. I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. Like, I was I was, I was was happy. I was like, cool. He didn't blow it. <laughs> you know, we're off to a good start. Uh, my number two pick is going to be Feel So Numb. It's arguably the most uh, popular song off of this album. Uh, certainly according to Spotify, it has uh, many millions more than the next most popular. And then uh, my number one pick is actually, I think, going to go to Dead Girl Superstar, because, you know, it's like two and a half minutes long. It's very short. It's extremely fast-paced, and it just rocks the whole time, and then it's out. And I, I respect that, and I enjoy listening to it. It's just like... Hey, you want to have like higher energy for like two and a half minutes? Fucking get get some, get, get in there and fucking rock. Uh, and it, it just it I don't know. It's it it's uh it's very listenable to me. I do want to give honorable mentions to Never Gonna Stop and mm, let's say Go to California. Uh, those two songs are kind of different. More so go to California. That one feels pretty different. Um, but, yeah, both pretty good songs. Uh, so, I guess that's it. I guess that's all I have to say about this one. It's just, it's a good one. Uh, still holds up after all this time. Now, the next album is probably going to be more interesting to revisit because I distinctly remember being very disappointed by it when I was, when I was young. Uh, because by the time... Educated Horses was released. I was aware of it ahead of time, and I bought it pretty much the, as soon as it was made available. So that was a completely different experience to how I had consumed the other two albums. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I am I'm very curious to revisit that. Uh, but that's obviously for the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be uh, about Educated Horses, the... 2006. Yes, because I was in middle school. The 2006 uh, Rob Zombie album. So, take care.